This is David Hood with uh, TigerNet here at Doe Campbell Stadium. A lot of noise going on here. The cleanup is going on, but about 45 minutes ago it was Clemson that cleaned up as they escaped Doe Campbell with a 37-34 victory over 12th ranked Florida State. This game was in doubt late. Florida State went up on a Dalvin Cook run 28-20 there in the fourth quarter. Deshaun Watson had thrown a couple of interceptions. They were bad throws. That's all we can say about it. Looked like Clemson may be going to their first loss of the season, but Watson led two stellar scoring drives. The last one, he hit Jordan Leggett on a 34-yard touchdown. Leggett kind of snuck out in the, into the coverage, hit the sideline. Clemson scores. They go up 37-34. After Watson hits Mike Williams in the back of the end zone for the two-point conversion. 2.06 left on the clock. Florida State with one timeout. It's like, okay, here we go again. But Dalvin Cook, one of his runs, it was called back. Dalvin Cook dropped a long touch, or what could have been a long touchdown pass. And then it came down third down and 10 inside the Clemson 50-yard line. Florida State called for holding. Clemson took the penalty. Christian Wilkins and Dexter Lawrence, they combined for a sack that made it fourth and 32. Brent Vittables then dials up the pressure. Ben Boulware sacks DeAndre Francois to end the game. Clemson wins 37-34. But this is just another, another episode in these cardiac cats. Clemson has now won five games this season by a touchdown or less. In their last 18 games decided by a touchdown or less, they are 16-2. This one was all on Deshaun Watson at the end, though. And I asked uh, Jordan Leggett just a few minutes ago, I said, tell me about uh, Deshaun's demeanor those last couple of drives and he said Deshaun came out and said just drive. He was as calm as always. The team took their cue from him. I thought Clemson's offense really scuffled through the second and third quarters, but Wayne Gallman said, hey, once they started feeding me, that's when the offense took off. I kind of agree with that. I'd like to see Nine get the football a little bit more. Clemson's defense gets gashed. Dalvin Cook, a career kind of a night. Four touchdowns. Some of those of the long rushing variety. It looked like Florida State had just complete, in complete control of this game when Deshaun comes out and does what he does and leads those two scoring drives. It was all part of, I guess you could say, Dabo's plan. Jordan Leggett said none of the players were talking. It was all Dabo. He's like, that's all we could hear over there on the sideline. But the end result now, Clemson is 8-0 on the season. They'll probably still be ranked third when the polls come out on Monday because Michigan won. College football playoffs still very much in play. Clemson still very much in play to win the ACC Atlantic Division, play in the ACC Championship game. They survive here at Doak Campbell, a place they haven't won since 2006. Everybody remembers the Will Proctor game. Now they head back to Clemson 8-0. They, they play Syracuse next week. And maybe, just maybe, they'll pull out a little bit larger win than seven points. As one player just now told me, we've been staring down the barrel of a gun all season long with those five games decided. Maybe they won't stare down the barrel of a gun next week. Clemson versus Syracuse, time to be decided. We'll have a post-game wrap for you after that one, too. This is David Hood with TigerNet.